Mm. Hello and welcome to this episode of Tech Quantum. In our previous videos, we discussed what is Dataverse, what is Dataverse database. And in this video, what we are going to discuss is common data model versus Dataverse, what is open data initiative and database structures and its benefits. So keep watching and stay tuned. Common data model is a logical design that includes a set of open source and standardized extensible data entities uh, and relationships that Microsoft and its partners have published in an industry-wide um, initiative called as Open Data Initiative. Now this collection of predefined entities, attributes, semantic metadata and relationships form the basis of common data model. Now, if we want to see what common data model consists of, then there is a, a nice PDF document that you can download from Microsoft Docs, which contains more details about the standardized entities that are available. So let me just show you that PDF and I will provide you the link in the description so you can download yourself. So using the link that I provide in the description below, you can download this PDF from Microsoft Docs. And over here, Microsoft has tried to explain what the data, what the common data model consists of and how common data model is linked with data source and apps and how app developers and backend integrators can develop independently using the Power Platform. If you scroll down below, you will see um, the core entities that are available in Common Data Schema, which is uh, when we talk about core entities, so these core entities are standard entities and common across uh, all the platforms. And it would be like accounts, activity, contacts, currency, email, etc. Now there are certain entities which are very specific to Dynamics 365 platform, like accounts, appointments, campaigns, and so on. And then there are certain entities which are specific to the modules within Dynamics 365. Like you can see over here, the entities which are related to sales, service. If you go to finance, you will find entities like main accounts, journal ledger, budget, bank, fixed assets, and dimensions. So these are much more specific to, uh, you know, Dynamics 365 Business Central or Dynamics 365 FinOps. Similarly, you can check the entities for supply chain, commerce, and marketing, so on and so forth. So you can download this PDF. It's a very good PDF, and you can have a detailed overview of what common data model consists of. So let's discuss about what is open data initiative that I just mentioned, which is being uh, initiated by Microsoft and its partners. So the common data model, as you saw, is an output of the initiative called open data initiative. It provides a single comprehensive view of your data and it brings together and also enriches the data from all of your line of business as well as across all your systems and it delivers a real-time intelligence uh, back to your applications and services and for this microsoft has um, partnered with sap and adobe for the open data initiative. Now that brings us to the third part about Dataverse structures and its benefits. Now, as I showed you earlier, the structure of Dataverse uh, database is based upon the definitions and schema of common data model. And the key benefit of this is that uh, it makes the integration very seamless and easy with any solution that uses common data model as its basis. Because as you can imagine, the standard entities of the solutions are the same. Not only that, you'll also be able to uh, access the rich ecosystems that various Microsoft vendors have built around common data model. And practically, there is no limit how far you can extend the Dataverse database. I hope you have got a good overview about common data model versus Dataverse, what is open data initiative, and what is Dataverse structures, and some of its benefits. I'll be back with new videos, so keep watching and stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.